Chicago, May 18, 1860. A backwoods congressman comes out of nowhere to grab the new Republican Party's nomination for president. Abe Lincoln's only claim to fame, he's lost two elections to the Senate. Personally, Lincoln hates slavery, but he's desperate to hold the country together. What I admire about Abraham Lincoln is that he had his beliefs, and he stuck to his beliefs at a time when it wasn't popular to do so, especially when it was black, white, and very cut and dry. He stuck to his beliefs. November 6, 1860, election day. The stakes couldn't be higher. Abraham Lincoln will be elected president of a country hurtling towards war. The South rebels, convinced he'll abolish slavery. They threaten to leave the Union. The battle lines are drawn. The North is behind him. For the South, Lincoln is the enemy. An editorial in an Atlanta paper. Let the consequences be what they may. Whether the Potomac is crimsoned in human gore, and Pennsylvania Avenue was paved ten fathoms with mangled bodies, the South will never submit to such humiliation and degradation as the inauguration of Abraham Lincoln. The South knew that Lincoln was going to win, and it was just a matter of time, tick, 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 before secession occurred. The South wants no part of a union with Lincoln in the White House. But as he prepares to take office, the president-elect is still determined to avoid a civil war. Lincoln was not happy about slavery. He did not see that as congruent to all men are created equal. And he had given a speech before he ever became president on why that was so important to him. And I think that was coming to a head. And when he got elected, uh, that was the final straw for the South. December 20th, 1860, South Carolina secedes from the Union. The 10 other slave states soon follow. Lincoln's victory makes war inevitable. He's prepared to fight to preserve the Union and won't have to wait long. In February 1861, a few weeks before his inauguration, the Confederate States of America are born. Lincoln's principal objective was to save the Union and then we'll deal with slavery. But before too long, he had to both save the Union and deal with slavery. Abraham Lincoln receives his first death threats before ever taking office. He'll save everyone, keeping a file in his desk labeled assassination. On the journey to Washington, he'll wear a disguise just to be safe. He'll do anything to avoid war, except allow slavery to expand. It is Lincoln who explains the case for freedom and says, I'm not going to attack slavery where it is, but I'm not going to let it expand. At his inauguration, Abraham Lincoln reluctantly pledges that states with slaves will be allowed to keep them. But it's too little, too late. A virtual state of war already exists. The South mobilizes an army of 800,000 men against a Union army of two and a half million. Five weeks after Abraham Lincoln takes office, first shots are fired in the war between the states. It will spark a brutal and bloody civil war, the deadliest in American history. In the next four years, more lives will be lost than in all America's other wars put together. <laughs> 